So today I am bringing you a freezer organization cleaning video. This is intense. There's a lot of mess and just disorder. So be prepared, brace yourself for that. So we're starting out with the freezer that's just down below our refrigerator. It's one of those pull out drawer styles and it's got two levels. There's the top one here, which honestly probably shouldn't have so much weight in it. I've got a lot of like glass containers I had in here and you're really not supposed to load it with so much weight. So that was one of the big concerns that I had going into this. Way too much glass and heavy stuff up there. But my goal today was to just clean everything out, get it like a thorough cleaning. I think your freezer needs to have a thorough cleaning probably like twice a year, but for us it had been like a couple years. So it was long overdue. So my strategy right here was just taking every single thing out, cleaning around everywhere, and then I'm gonna put it back in an orderly way. Now the only real products that I bought to do this project were um, some storage bins that I picked up at the dollar store. So if you saw my Dollar Tree shop with me, then you guys would have seen these bins already. I got some for this freezer and then also some for the outside chest freezer. But I really like how this adds just a little bit of structure to an otherwise just free space. There's one little divider in that bottom section, but otherwise everything just kind of like mixes all together. And I really don't like that because stuff just falls and there's no way to like, when one thing's taken out, to have everything else not just like cave in on it. So I definitely made little organized sections in here because I was so disconnected to what was actually in here. I didn't know it was gonna need the biggest spaces, but I knew for sure I was gonna have an area needed for like frozen vegetables, frozen fruits. Um, I knew I had a ton of broth and then also I had frozen meat. This clean out also opened my eyes to how many different containers of ice cream we had. Pretty much the entire upper shelf, that left side is dedicated to ice cream. <laughs> I think I had one loaf of bread or something in the back there, but everything else was like small little popsicles or ice cream. And I already had a ton of stash of ice cream in the chest freezer in the garage. So that was a big eye opener for me. And I definitely am planning on eating through a lot of the food that we have in here before I like go out and buy more. But I just really want it net down. Like from now on, I don't want to have too much extra of any of the random things. So I want to keep staples on hand, but as far as the random little things, I don't want to have so much. So now we're moving out to the garage and this is where I have my chest freezer. This is like the less glamorous, the least glamorous probably spaces in our house is the garage. <laughs> but um, this chest freezer I have in here, it has a huge capacity. You can put a ton in here, but because it's a chest style freezer, things just get so lost. And if you look at the back there, you can see there is so much ice accumulated. And I really wanted to make sure it wasn't interfering with like the performance of the freezer and like not sealing well. So I knew it needed to be chipped out. The problem is if you chip it out, but you don't take everything out, then you're getting all of this frost all over all of your items. So I went through, I took everything out, and then I tackled all of the ice. You see this guys it was terrifying in there <laughs> there's like blueberries that had escaped lots of frostbite i went ahead and just scraped this with the little ice scraper that came with my freezer now i made the mistake of storing this thing in the bottom of the freezer i'm not sure why it was probably in the top originally but the thing is this thing becomes very brittle if you store it in the freezer so i would definitely not recommend doing that i ended up breaking it about halfway through which makes me sad because it was so good at removing all of the ice. 
but my little kitchen scraper, once this one broke, um, my little kitchen scraper came in handy. So if you have one of those, like a pot and pan scraper, like this little green one, those do work really well for this. Another tip that I have is if you have like oven mitts or especially the gloves, those work fantastic for doing this because as the ice chips and stuff are flying, it can kind of like scratch up your hands, plus it's really cold. So I learned kind of towards the end of the project that that was a super helpful thing. So spare your hands and wear gloves from the beginning all the way through the end and your hands will be a lot more happy. Once again, I just used these really basic bins to organize. I wasn't too sure how I would like this system when I was first starting off, so I got really, really inexpensive plastic bins. Um, so they're definitely fragile. Like after they've been in the freezer, they can break. So you do have to be gentle with them, but I wasn't too sure on how well they would work. To be honest, I've never done anything like this before. Um, but now that I've had it in our freezer for about, I'd say three weeks now, I'm loving having things separated. It makes it so much easier to know like the general area or section that your you know foods and stuff are in. So I like it. I would probably go with like thicker, bins if I were to do this again but just so you guys know um, these are the ones that I got from Dollar Tree and they're doing the trick just make sure you don't like hit them around because they will crack and then just an overview of this base layer I had my frozen fruits on the left in the middle I've got like frozen pizzas we pull those out if we've got like a babysitter or something I just like to keep them stocked when they're inexpensive and then on the right um, our freezer does have like a little bump up for like the motor or whatever it is that makes the freezer you know the motor thing <laughs> um, it bumps up there so I pretty much planned on the far right just being meat stuff so it's all kind of confined to that one area and since that's one thing that my husband like he really likes to have pork roasts on hand or meatballs and things like that I try to stock up on them when they're on sale or like chicken breasts or frozen chickens so I just wanted to dedicate that whole corner to um, like frozen meat stuff At this point, I was realizing how just jam-packed my freezer is right now, and I was really questioning, why do I have so many ice creams? But yeah, I'm pretty much on a ban from buying ice cream for the next couple months. Um, yeah, so let me just give you kind of a peek at how I did this. So I got my frozen breads here. I like to keep at least a few loaves on hand. Underneath that, I've got my frozen vegetables. All of these ice creams, I'm definitely not gonna have a whole bin dedicated to them next time. And then on the far right is meat. And then I left a space in the middle here for like frozen entrees. I didn't have any more bins, but I had a little like cardboard box left over and that worked. So this is how I did it, you guys. I hope you found some inspiration from it. Give it a thumbs up and let me know if you're needing to tackle your freezer as badly as I was needing to. Let me know what you would like to see me declutter or clean next. And I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.